What was the question that was asked in the gospel? Do you remember? When the Lord returns, will there be any faith on the earth? It's not a statement about what we know in terms of the faith, or how many statements of faith and belief that we can recite. Rather, the Lord is talking about the relationship. Faith is about a relationship with God. Will there be any relationship with God when the Lord returns? And so that question really challenges us because it says, rather than a question about what we know and believe, it's a question of how long will it take us to align our hearts with God and with God's intentions. Now I'm going to ask a question, and I probably should warn you, you probably should not raise your hand with this. But how many of you have ever felt nagged by someone in your house or by someone else? The widow in the story is nagging the judge. And what Jesus is trying to tell us is that God is like the widow in the gospel today. Not the judge. God isn't like the judge. God is like the widow. And reminding us that God doesn't give up on us or on the world. God continually nags at us. And sometimes St. Augustine used to say, our hearts are restless until they rest in thee. There's a restlessness. And so that nagging takes place all the time. God is persistent. God is relentless. And the shape of the widow's heart was unrelenting. The widow would just not give up. God is that nagging voice within us that won't give up until we are willing to reshape our hearts and to align our hearts with God's will for our world and for God's people. It's hard to believe that God doesn't lose heart. God doesn't give up. He continues to bother us. Sometimes we're bothered in our conscience. Sometimes we're bothered by maybe what we hear around us. Maybe we're bothered by what we see when we turn on the news. Maybe we're bothered by our memories. But God continues to pester us and will continue to pester us. Continue to love us, though, so that we can love this world and come to know that we are, in the heart of God, significant, cared for, and always loved. Every single one of us. So during the week, be prepared be nagged by God. God bless you.